right, folks. We are here with a new series. Um, this is very loud. I think I'm going to have to turn this down. But we are going to be doing some particle fleet emergence. Where the hell is this? Settings. Settings. Down. Yeah, turn that down. Turn the music back up. That's better. Okay, uh, so. so no, I don't have to apply it. Um, whatever, it looks good. Anyway, we're doing Particle Fleet Emergence. A Creeper World Chronicle. Uh, obviously made by the same people that brought you all the other Creeper World games. Uh, I don't know too much about this. I saw some very early like development videos that the dev was doing. Um, it's apparently in space now, and you have ships, and you're fighting something other than the Creeper. Particles, judging from the name. So I don't know if this is in the same universe as the Creeper, or if it's in a parallel universe, or... Uh, you know, one of the forgotten era, era, uh, eras, time eras. Um, but anyway, let's see what do we got here. Story, uh, Inception, Simulcrom, Exchange... Mission editor, ship editor, Tycon. And those are those assholes that developed all that technology that got corrupted by the Creeper, and then well, I don't know if they were assholes when they were alive, but they were certainly assholes in Creeper World 3 for leaving that stuff lying around that the Creeper could take over. Um, anyway, story. Tycon Corporation embarks on a perilous journey into redacted space and discovers a terrible truth. So what, are we playing as the Tycon now? So I guess we are in the same world then for playing as the Tycon. Oh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know if I like this new mission interface. I like where they had Creeper World 3 a bit better. Uh, anyway, let's hop into the prologue, I guess. Entering redacted space. Give a man a mask and he will show his true face. Uncle Cracker presents... Emergence, Creeper World Chronicle. I must say, I am quite impressed that uh, one person was able to do all of this work. Like the writing, the graphics, the programming. Very impressive. Uh, anyway, oh look, CEO Varro. I wonder if that's Varro Hell. Prepare to drop out of the rift. Uh, sir, the particulate threat is massive. Lakshismi? Alright, uh, the info cache is here. Engage. Okay. There's the particles. I wonder what that thing does. Those seem to generate it, it looks like. And we have a ship. Can I... No, I can't... Oh! Um, anyway, in Odin's name, it was true. It was all true. Shooting it. They're doing stuff. Building more ships. Um, we've achieved the info cache. Your orders, sir. And that's Lak Lakshmi. That's an interesting name. Um... That's an interesting shape for that to take. That looks just like a creeper emitter slash nexus. Anyway, extract the contents and prepare for rift transmission. And is it making creeper? Uh, sir, the power drain will be massive and make it impossible to jump. Like, what is that gunk around? Is that creeper? Is this... I know Lakshmi, the data. It, it has been an honor. So they're pretty much screwed, I guess. I understand. Transmission prepared. Sending. Crew, know that we do not fall in vain. Alright. The finest crew signal lost. And all the ships going kind of crazy. Whoa. What is this? Is this that looks like creeper, but that's like bound around whatever the hell that is. That's definitely taking the shape of a well, that's a that, that was definitely taking the shape of, like, a Reaper emitter, though. Um, Arcbot? Like all the others before, Hail Corporation was lost. Yeah, so that was Varro Hail. Alright, we had him in Creeper World 2. At last, they rested. wonder who they is. Almost nothing remained. Except the single and final transmission.
PyCom Archive, Access Level 9, COID, Office of the CEO, blah blah blah. Interesting. So I wonder if there'll be Creeper and this particle crap. That's what it looked like. Anyway, jumping. Um, on to the next story mission. Nativity. Set me ink, CEO player, nativity. Your company is preparing to embark on a great journey, but first you must review and prepare. So, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it the default. We'll do it. We'll do it by the books. Because I mainly haven't messed around the story editor anyway. Ah, CEO Tycon. I guess that's us. Greetings, associates. Before we embark on our great journey, our COO, Amicus, will review operating procedures. Please pay close attention as the success of our venture depends on your actions. Amicus, over to you. Why are they referring to everything as like a company or whatever the case may be? Um, let's see here. Next. Thank you, Chairman Tycon Associates. Let's make the simulator. Oh, it's a simulator now? Alright. Uh, run perfect and show Chairman Tycon we are more than prepared. Remember, this corporate ship isn't only our headquarters, it is also our home. The fate of the entire company rests in your capable hands. So, first up, select the HQ from the command bar on the left and then choose a location in space to jump us into. There's a simulated energy source in this region of space. Jump near it, but not too close so that the energy mine can be constructed. So the HQ from the ship inventory. Jumping near the energy mine where indicated. You may move the map with the right right mouse. Okay. Arrow keys was the keys. You may zoom the mouse with the map. Okay. Pretty similar to the controls. This looks like pretty much the same engine that Creeper World 3 was built off of. Uh, place it there. Okay. Energy mines produce the energy needed to power ships and weapons. Excellent work, crew. Excellent. He's been briefed. We anticipate numerous energy sources to be scattered throughout redacted space. Acquiring and using their energy will be key to our operations. We anticipate many shattered worlds in redacted space, full of remnants of once great worlds. We can use that mass for additional energy production. We'll see some remnant land in the simulator. Select and build an Omni on it. Once built, the Omni will mire the land to use it for energy production. Omni on the asteroid remnant to the right of the energy source. Omni. I wonder what it means by mire. Omnis can be built in space or over land, but they're only operational when they touch down on land. Omnis need energy for construction and operation. Those are the green packets you can see moving from an energy mine to the Omni. So it has the wireless power like in Creeper World 2. Okay. <laughs> Once an Omni is built and is on land, it will mire the land and use it to increase energy production. Note that the production level from your energy mine and from land in the top left of the display. Once the Omni finishes and begins to mire the land. I guess that's, that's blue crap it's spreading out. Um, Alright, so production. Looks like we're spending around three energy keeping that thing running. Uh, I guess we're getting nine from that and then a growing amount. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Three from the land, a little more than three, okay. Um, one final note about Omnis, they also include, uh, include a lathe. This can be useful in certain situations. Just cancel the clear selection, okay. Uh, next up, ship construction. We've acquired a Galcorp ship schematic license for a single lathe ship. The lathe ship has a remote command bridge, engine, lathe, and laser defense system creating energy mines instead of moving our HQ into potentially dangerous locations. Ships are constructed in space and require energy from nearby energy mines to build and power their modules. Select the lathe ship from the command bar on the left and then place it near the energy mine. Okay, build the lathe ship. Lathe. Alright, now we wait. Speed it up a little bit. Uh, so this seems interesting so far. Um, you know, it's, uh... Alright. Uh, excellent work, crew. A director of engineering will now review ship. And director Kami. Thank you, Chief Amicus. Crew, each ship we build is operated remotely via encrypted terabit quantum links. We establish full telepresence for any associate operator. Which sounds kind of cool, anyway. 
Uh, via your command interface, select a ship, then move and click where you want the ship to position itself. The ship's engines will rotate the ship and move it to the target location. You may click, drag, and release at the destination to set the ship's desired rotation for when it reaches its destination. You may also use your mouse wheel to change the desired rotation of the ship. Hold down M to make small adjustments while using the mouse wheel. Lastly, you may hold down E on your console keyboard when moving a ship. This will cause the ship to slide to its target destination without any rotation at all. Thank you, Director. Associates have added a new energy source to the simulator. Move the lathe ship into range and let the lathe ship build an energy mine. Alright. Hands in the mouse. Yeah, alright. So they're saying... Alright, so it kind of moves. But if I click and drag... Okay. Interesting. Over there, I guess. Oh, yeah, I asked that one. Turn that down. Um, in addition to the lathe schematic, Chairman Tycon has also licensed a single destroyer class military vessel. As a precaution, we have Army HQ with cannons and proximity defense lasers, but in the event we need more firepower, the destroyer is available. Build the destroyer now. You can build it near either energy mine as long as it is within the energy supply range. Okay, so it's kind of like your. Um, power network from the other creeper worlds. <laughs> Same general uh, concept so far it seems. Except I'm not building collectors, I guess I'm building zombies. And it's wireless power, so Man, I can't wait for the like wireless power to actually be like a, a legitimate thing in like the real world, you know? That'd be pretty sweet. Get rid of like all the wires on my desk. Uh, anyway. Amicus, let's review the threat and mission status. Yes sir. Crew, with great effort, we have obtained information regarding a potential threat in redacted space. As you know, all records on redacted space are sealed by the Galactic Corporation. Entry into redacted space is punishable by forfeiture of all assets. Over the centuries, there have been occasional ventures into redacted space, often by the insane or desperate chiefs of failed corporations. In all cases, those who ventured into redacted space were never heard from again, with one exception. And it is that single exception we have come to possess. A message encrypted and only recently deciphered by our chief technology officer, Anna. Associates, the encryption was not easy to break. Only after considerable insight have I discovered the message's contents. It contained a description of a mindless threat that was attracted to energy and technology. Self-replicating, it could be temporarily defeated and pushed back, but will always return. Many of you have no doubt heard rumors of this threat your whole lives. It would seem the rumors are true. I have programmed the simulators to create an approximation of this threat and modified the standard Galcorp lathe to destroy the source of this particulate threat. We simply don't know with certainty how effective our weapons will be against this possible threat. Our director of weapons may have additional input. Thank you, Anna. Crew, if it's red, send it to Oblivion. Engage. Oh. How about that? Uh, destroy the particle emitter. Move the ship close to the emitter to destroy it. Use the destroyer for protective fire and to acquire the nearby energy source. Okay. So let's send the destroyer over there. Uh, go shoot it. That'll expand our footprint. Uh, I wonder how much damage that can take. Good bit. Either that or they don't have much damage to this tutorial mission. I don't know. Um, Alright, and that's gonna zap it. It's a little tiny laser on it. Yeah. The destroyer seems effective anyway. Alright, let's speed that up a little bit. Okay, and that's how it's done. And other the results of this simulation need further review. I foresee some issues. As do I. Energy will be a problem. And if your simula nah. and if your simulation is correct, the particulate threat could assume a highly variable array of formulation nah. formations. Nah, I can't talk tonight. Uh, crew, each of you have been selected for outstanding skills in your specialist area and your ability to devise solutions to previously unencountered challenges, such as we will encounter in redacted space. Crew, prepare to jump. 59 seconds. Alright, we're just gonna exit the mission. Um, alright. Indelible. How long have we been going for? Only 15 minutes. Probably do this one. 
Um, well, so far it seems uh, definitely seems interesting. Uh, definitely in the same style as the previous games. Going into business sale. What is that? It just seems a little weird that it's like all like corporations and businesses and CTO, COO, CEO. I don't know. It's a different twist, I guess. Um, anyway, the associates of Tycon Corporation in a redacted space and everything is anticipated, or so it seems. Now, I wonder if this is taking place like directly after uh, that prologue. Well, I guess it would. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called the prologue. So that encrypted transmission or whatever we received uh, seems to be sent uh, to us from Varro Hale. Um, which is interesting. Ah, oh, God. There's all kinds of shit going on. Alright, uh, jump complete. We should call it hang on, whatever. We have entered redacted space. Danu, sensor readings? There is a particulate threat here, exactly like an Anna simulation, but there are two emitters. Odd. There is a substantial wreckage here. Energy crystals and what appear to be two tech modules. Thoth, what do you make of these energy readings? There is spatial plasma in this region. Ah, I've seen these readings before. If my assessment is correct, the blue plasma in this region of space should slow the movement of enemy particulate. I guess that's this crap here. I agree, but the plasma is unstable and is likely to decay upon contact with the particulate. Very well. Kami, prepare engineering to receive those tech modules. We're going to retrieve them. Already on it. And Hogan, stand ready. You know it, chief. Alright, let's get our corporate. Alright, what, what is all this? Collect technology, collect technology. Energy crystals are caches of instant energy. Alright, so that's like what you build that siphons on in past games. Alright, Meyer here, Meyer here. We got a bunch of energy mines. I guess that's ranges of different guns on there. Whatever. Um. I guess we need to unpause it. Don't we? Alright, we'll let that build so we get some energy. Um, wow, that's cool. We can just build on those. Alright, uh, let's get a lathe. There's the particulate. Um, I guess let's build an omni there, like it says. We can mire. Um, I guess we'll need a destroyer at some point. Those are starting to get a little close. That's interesting, they're attracted to the, uh... No, it just looked like it was. Uh, very nice, this is... What? Oh, randomly picked that up, okay. Uh, this is a license for another Omni. I'll integrate it into our Galcorp Technology License Manager. That's a mouthful. Uh, I recommend immediate construction and use of this new Omni. Sure, but I need to build this first, so... Let's go take this, I think, so we can, we can probably plop, the, plop our second Omni that we just conveniently got right up here. Um, alright, and yeah, Meyer with Omni, alright. Um, now let's take our lathe over here. Yeah, look, they are attracted to the energy source, that's interesting. Um, okay, yeah, collect that go down there. Build that. Uh, Alright, an additional lathe ship has been integrated into our Galcorp License Manager. The new lathe ship appears in the build panel to the left. I recommend immediate construction as it appears it will be needed. Alright, let's go ahead and build it then. Alright, let's move this thing up. And I think they said that thing had guns, so let's park it up there. We'll still be relatively safe, I guess. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Rotate it so its guns face that way. So we you guys over here as well. We're gonna have to go take that next. We'll leave that there though. We don't want it to randomly die. So I still have no idea uh, how much damage the particle things can do. Um, anyway. Can I fly? Yeah, okay. I can fly out of the energy, no problem. I guess that's just for like building stuff. Uh, this would be a little weird if they couldn't fly outside of it. I don't know. Um, all right, now let's take out the bottom one first. No, oh, what is that? It's like clumped up. 
wonder if it's always going to be like in little individual particles, although I think they said something like it, uh... Man, that's weird, like this stuff just goes at you when you get close. Like otherwise it just kind of floats around aimlessly, but as soon as you start getting close it's like, ah, kill him! Alright. Seems to be not that bad. Yeah, that was easy. What is it doing? Oh, what? How did it... How did that crap get there? So it looks like the particles can, like, reverse mire the land or something, somehow. Interesting. That's a lot of particles in there. Alright. Okay. Let's make our way up here. Oh, shit! Let me get that back. are very fragile, just like all the other buildings. I guess I should expect that. Um, whoa. Damn, they actually blew up my ship. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, privately to Tycon. Tech licenses, energy crystals, dual particulate emitters. We didn't expect this much this close to the edge of redacted space. Other ships must have been destroyed even this close to the boundary. Privately to Amicus. We came for answers. I believe we will have them soon. That was a quick one. We're still only at 20 minutes. Huh. Um, judging from this thumbnail, that looks like it could be more involved. I think we'll go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, just because I don't want to have to stop in the middle of a mission and I don't know how long they're going to be or anything like that. Um, so anyway, uh, definitely fun game so far. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's different from the other ones, but, you know, uh, I guess Creeper World 2 was different from the other ones, too, and that was a pretty, pretty fun game, too. Um, so, we'll definitely be uh, continuing this uh, in the near future, so keep an eye out, and thank you for joining me and watching. And, as always, we will see you in the next one when we return with more, uh, <laughs> I almost said Creeper World, Particle Fleet Emergence.